Hi folks, Robin here. In today's video, I'm going to be having a look at the Vango Nevis 110. What I really like about this is these compression straps. And for a change, this is quite a spacious bag because obviously you can never seem to get as tightly packed as the manufacturers can. So the instructions are inside the pack here. Another thing is, oh, when I take a ten out of a bag, I never take a mental note of how it was packed up. So here's the poles. These must be for either end, these short ones. And then I've got one long one. Eggs. I'll be upgrading these to better pegs anyway, these are quite heavy for what they are. This is technically my first pitch of it. It's not too bad, it's a bit it's a bit saggy in places, but I've had a few gusty wind and it's not been too flappy actually. I think it's just getting these at the right angle. And then you've got this little pole here and they go up into little sleeves up there. And I don't know, I'd like that a wee bit tighter, but Given it's not too windy tonight, I'm not going to worry too much, but first first thoughts, it's a nice little tent for £72, you really can't complain for what it weighs 1.7 kilograms. I'll show you inside now, <clears throat> we've got a little rain hood here and this rolls up. So you see there, I've got a shopping bag, so you could put a rucksack down there, a pair of boots, and then it's got a nice big wide door. What's annoying though is this tension system. Where is it? Runs through the door if you need it, and if it's pulling too tight, that that velcro opens up, and it leaves a little hole for midges to get in, but. You don't always need that, but that clips in there. It's not something I've seen before. So the door can get tucked away in there, which is handy. As you can see here, I've got my roll mat out. You've got a wee bit of space at your feet, or at your head, depending on which way you've got the mat. And there's space for some gear here. So I mean, there is storage space. Um, not a huge amount, but I mean, like I said, you'd have your rucksack here, your boots there, and then you'd have other bits and bobs there as well. So I think on the whole, it's a nice little tent. The inner's not touching the outer, so that, that's that's a good start. It's not pulling tight on anything too much. This will do me for like just little jaunts like this, or if it's going to be too midgy and I don't want to take the tarp, but I like it. It's a good wee tent. Um, it's good to have a wee bit of practice just to nail the, the pitch and I think, but aye, it's good enough for me. So inside the tent, you've just got room and no more to sit up. That's me, five foot ten, and it's just touching my head. I mean, it's not going and pushing out the, the fly You see there, there's little ventilation holes that go through. I don't know how much that'll help with condensation, but obviously you will get a through draft because it's got the other side as well. This is this tension system here I was talking about. 
You see it goes through here, so if you, if you tighten this too much the velcro comes away and then obviously you could get one or two midges getting in there in the middle of mid-season so I'll not be tightening that too much if it's midgy and then obviously when you open the door the door just sort of hangs there and you have to unclip it so that's a minor annoyance but it's not it's not a, a showstopper see they just take that out so that was a good night in the uh, the Nevis 100 it wasn't one day so there was odd occasional little breeze but nothing major so there is condensation but it's not absolutely it's not absolutely dripping just a sort of thin a fine layer which you'd expect in a, a small tent anyway so yeah it's fine in the um, I didn't feel as I was in a coffin it's not the smallest tent I've ever been in so yeah I'm happy with it and that is the Nevis 100 if you find this video useful please do give it the thumbs up and if you've got any questions about the tent you can drop them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one